earlier so ignore my hair it's looking crazy but we went to the nagar and i wanted to do a little haul on some items that i picked up there yeah so joy had a stand so you know i had to pass through surprisingly guys i haven't been to the nagar in years like about six seven years i haven't been to the nagar and the food was amazing thankfully it didn't have a lot of traffic thank god for that and the night we went on was a thursday night so maybe that's why you know it wasn't i mean it had traffic but it wasn't crazy amount of traffic you know that makes sense so yeah anyway so dean bought me this book um it's karma a yogi's guide to crafting your destiny this is by Sadhguru. so they had a boot inside there um, they had a bunch of different books but i wanted to read this one I really like Sadhguru and i really want to get into his books i'll read a little thing here for you guys what is karma most people understand karma as a balanced sheet of good and bad deeds virtues and sins the mechanism that we cannot evade the consequences of our own actions in reality karma has nothing to do with the reward and punishment karma simply means action your action your responsibility it isn't some external system of crime and punishment but an internal cycle generated by you accumulation of karma is determined only by your intention and the way you respond to what is happening to you over time, it's possible to become ensnared by your own unconscious patterns of behavior. In karma, Sadhguru seeks to put you back in the driver's seat, turning you from a terror-struck passenger to a confident driver navigating the course of your own destiny. By living consciously and fully inhabiting each moment, you can free yourself from the cycle. Through Sadhguru's teaching, you will learn how to live intelligently and joyfully in, in, in a challenging world. I will let you guys know how this goes. That was 150. Then I got some statinese because I've been looking for this all over and in the grocery. I'm not finding it. So $20 I paid for this. Um went over to Joy. Um because Dean had bought this. You guys gonna see that in an upcoming Pennywise oil. This Nasinamide and Argan oil with um SPF 25, it's a hydro protectant day cream and he really likes it. So he wanted to um, go and get another one. And over there was $33 and in Pennywise, I believe he paid $38. So the boot was a bit cheaper. And then I saw they had this 24, 24 hour deep moisturizer hydrating day serum. So I got this one. This has hyaluronic acid and watermelon. And this was $33 as well and then we got a sample size of the day cream with argan oil and acetamide for him so i find that was nice and they gave us another sample size for some money of this activated charcoal wash so i find that was really yeah nice and over to a little store called hannah's handmade so i bought a body mist from them like when they had like this pop up market like in golf that's a few years ago and I absolutely love it and I saw they came out with body oils so this one is peppermint and eucalyptus uh, I love the little pump on it and it smells so good it's not sticky or you know I'm a sucker for a good body oil and it's not sticky it smells amazing if you're looking for a good body oil that is not sticky highly recommend this was $75 and then they have a bigger one for $150 had shower steamers and I really wanted to try it because I follow them on Instagram and I saw they had posted and they have it for $10 guys like where you went shower steamers for $10 mm. so this one is lavender Oh my god, it smells so good. I just want this one is peppermint. And this one is cinnamon ice. So right where they sell in the joy stuff, they have like these teas and it's a Taj Mahal brand. Five boxes of tea for $20. Uh yes please. Two here. This one is spicy ginger. And this one is Turkish style breakfast. Um so the other three that I took, I give my friends it. Basically all the stuff that i got in the mirror guys let's head to the other part of this video I don't go ahead good morning viewers welcome back to our channel happyvibes.com <laughs> <laughs> we are about to make sweets only sweets from kurma gulab jamun barfi rascula 
Lord who? Coconut barfi. Coconut barfi. Milk barfi. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, we have all the things here. Before we get started, this video is not sponsored by none of these brands. These are just the products that we use. So, we just want to show you. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is everything in total what we're going to use. And this is the spices that we're going to use. Also, we have the ginger. Mm -hmm. Let me show you where the, the butter is here. Blue band butter. Not sponsored. Not, as I say, not sponsored. The cherries yeah. is here as well. This. The sprinkles. Not here. Mm -hmm. Also, we have fresh ginger. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> fly. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Already grown again. <laughs> Blended. Fresh ginger already blended. <laughs> we have Harry Big Leaf Hydroponics Bandania. So you can get your bandania. This is the milk barfi in the Megan. Check out she um <laughs> viewers. So yeah, you style like on my... her outfit. Everything is a fast thing, right? So it's just the pack to go in it now and the sprinkles. Look at it. This is this is the pack. This is exactly one big pack the biggest pack of cream mm. and two of the the nasal cream. cream in here we also have a pack with the ginger and we're going to put some elachi in here uh, have to be watch you see this very sugar coming out here and watch how we test it i want you all to see everything so you put it here and you see when it drop like that, right? Watch the droppings there. You would see how sticky it is. See? See that stickiness? This is what you want for. Watch again. Watch. This is the stickiness you want for your pack. I'm lifting it up once more for you to see before I cut off this too. And this. This is how it have to be, you see. So we're going to cut it off and we're going to start it through. Giving it one knife cut here. Okay viewers, this is the korma here, we need it with the coconut milk, watch it here, coconut milk, 
Bluban butter. I just put a little cookie in it. And a little evaporated milk. When you finish, you cut it, you peel it out, and you cut it and you start frying it like how you don't need flour to actually fry it. See? You just roll it, slice it, and dice it. And then you will see the finishing touch after. Mm. One eternity later. Uh. Hi guys, so it's half twelve. So, yeah, so it's half twelve. So I just package out all these rascals. Have a dozen here. All of these over here that is label and package. Look at these cute Diwali little boxes. Barbie cookies. I'm ordering this for like two or three years now. Honestly, the size of the cookie is smaller than what I usually get. I order five dozen. So I used to be sixty dollars for a dozen, right? You can get it sixty dollars for a dozen. All in one, not individually wrapped, or sixty five dollars. Sixty five dollars for a dozen. Individually wrapped. So I took it individually wrapped. The cookies are very small. Like I don't understand why it's so small but nevertheless. So yeah, have five dozen here. Then these here are sweet starts package for friends and family and all of that, so yeah. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It is the day before Diwali and I am so exhausted, I'm so tired. Like I went to bed after 1 this morning, like maybe finish, make the sweets and package everything by 12.30. I am dead be tired. I'm so tired, I end up waking up like around more time um half six this morning i had a girl come in at eight o'clock to come and clean because i was not able to clean and deal with nothing so cindy if you're watching this shout out to you she came and she you know hooked me up do all the dishes clean the whole nine yards so i don't know plans for the rest of the day i know that you guys are surprised that you're seeing a vlog on a saturday to post this before diwali because i mean everybody making sweets and you know so yeah enjoy this video hope you guys have a safe and blessed diwali just want to wish the hindu community a happy diwali from my family to your family hope that you have a great and safe one i would see earlier in my diwali vlog either monday or thursday we shall see so uh yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i'll catch you in my next video don't forget to stay safe stay blessed bye